In this program, I have two variables, number one, number two. They are the integer type, and they hold values five and six. I'm going to take these two numbers, and I'm going to compare them using a relational operator to see if they're equal. Whenever I run this program, I'll see down here, my answer is false. So number one does not equal number two. We have additional relational operators that we can play with. We have a less than. Number one is less than number two. That is true. We have a greater than. Five is not less than six, so that returned a false. We have a greater than or equal to. All I have to do is add the equal sign at the end. And I should expect a false for this statement as well. And I also have a less than or equal to. And that one is true. There's one final one, and that is a not equal. I should anticipate that this comes back true. Save, run it, and it is true. So the, this component is being evaluated to either be true or false each time, and it's printing to the console. I have a special data type called a Boolean data type that I can use to store whether it is true or false. As you'll recall, this was true. Now it's evaluating this statement and storing that true or false into my result variable. And now I'm printing out the result that's in result. Now I'll see true, true, and false. Boolean variables will become much more useful whenever we start learning about how to make decisions and loop through Java. Do remember that they can only hold one of two values, true or false.